Hey everybody, this is Doug from Trigger King. Um, you guys have been asking uh, via email, YouTube comments, Facebook messages, you guys have wanted to know more about the vehicles that we run. So this is our first in a series uh, that kind of does that and we're going to talk a little bit about what each class is and give an example of one of the trucks that we run for it. So what we're starting off with, this is our, this is an Outlaw Retro truck. Um, our Outlaw Retro class is designed after, uh, to be like the TNT series back in the late 80s. This is when monster trucks started to race. They had heavy box frame chassis. They weren't street trucks really anymore, uh, but they couldn't really fly like the new trucks. So uh, this here, this is my truck, the Green Monster. Um, it's basically a clod buster. Um, hard to call it a stock clod buster, um, but if you guys want to take a look under the hood here, um, this body I'm using uh, is actually an old Parma repop body uh, that Team Blue Groove sells. So if you're if you're asking, I cut a, a hole in the hood, and you can see I have an RPM blower I have mounted here. It just looks better, I think, when it sits underneath the hood. So, anyways, getting onto the truck. Um, this is pretty much uh, the the axles are stock clod. This truck's dirty. It's been in some battles here. Uh, it's got about three years of use on it. Uh, but the gears, everything is stock clod buster. It's got stock 27 uh, turn silver can motors. Um, that's legal for our class. Uh, steering setup on it though is where it gets different. These are axle mounted steering. I believe this is a Crawford Performance Engineering vertical steering mount. On the back, I've got a Sutton Motorsports hitch and uh, steering mount. So. You're going to have to run four wheel, well, I guess you don't have to run four wheel steer, but most all of us run four wheel steer in the Outlaw class. Um, the nice thing with having a servo on each end of it is that you're not going to have the bump steer like the stock configuration uh, where one servo powers or has to steer the whole truck. Um, the other advantage is you can, with a digital radio, you can blend your rear steer um, to where you can either dial your rear steer down to, you know, zero percent basically giving you a locked rear if you're on a, like a drag racing track. Or you can bump it all the way up to, I don't know, 25, 30% is what we normally run for a turning track. And that gives you plenty, gives you plenty of turning for that. So the chassis is where it gets quite a bit different than the stock. This is a Sicken Me Products Ultralight. Um, now what this is, is basically a reproduction sassy chassis that they used to make in the uh, early 90s. Um, it's basically a box frame made of aluminum. It's two millimeters thick. These things are super tough. Sicken Me products, which we'll link in the, uh, in the uh, description here, um, they can make them to any length you want. Um, they're nice and affordable. Almost all of the trucks in our series run these because not only do they look good, um, but they work well. I mean, we've never had a problem with the chassis and super, super adjustable. As you can see here on this chassis, um, I mount my battery here in the middle. You can really mount the battery wherever you want. Most of us use team associated battery cups. Uh, you can use zip ties, some guys Velcro. Um, that's kind of the basics for that. There's really not much to these things. It's basically a big block with uh, just the ESC and the, uh, the battery in it. Final thing I guess is the shocks. Um, I'm using the stock friction shocks. There's not really, uh, I, don't, I don't see a huge difference in the oil shocks. Oil shocks are legal. But these trucks just don't have much articulation. Um, the only trick that I do with this is I polish my shock shafts and that allows a little bit smoother action. So there you go. That's pretty much a standard outlaw truck. Most of us are running this style of configuration, just different wheelbases and everything. So there you go. See you next time.